everything everybody thinks they know about me is false. Not just most of the things, all the things. It must be the most single successful emotional con job of the 20th century. She was corrupt, nasty, cynical, and cruel. Mother Teresa was known for her home for the dying in Calcutta, India, ensuring a hospital. There are no doctors saving lives. This is just a place for victims to suffer and die by the rules of the Catholic Church. You could went to Calcutta, you've had a 50% chance of running into her, maybe. Much more likely to be astonished. It's simply an excuse, excuse making for theft and, and, and for deceit. It's softness on crime. Mother T also accepted over a million dollars from Charles Keating, whose junk bond debacle caused more than 21,000 old folks to lose their life savings. When she got the money from Charles Keating, he hadn't been indicted about anything. He hadn't even been accused of anything. So what was she supposed to do? The money was already spent by the time that they found out that this guy was a crook. So the Vatican couldn't write a check. There's something assholey in that. No matter what the... You know what? Mother Teresa isn't even her real name. That's her real name. What's she hiding? She never had kids, and her name is not Teresa. So what's the deal with all the money, Agnes Gonzaga, uh, uh, Mother Teresa? Huh? Agnes Gonzaga Boyajio. Yeah. On her world travel, she raised well over 50 million bucks by some account. And yet, where did all of it go? Well, as with most bullshit, follow the money. It's bullshit living conditions. That's not very Christ-like, or is it? We see Christ in the broken body. And we touch him, and that touch is, comes from the deep faith that Christ cannot deceive. It, it was her obsession with suffering, and, and f her obsession that people need to suffer in, in order to come close to Jesus. Obsession with suffering? What we need is an insider who can verify that, you know, like a former nun or something. I'm Kelly Dunham. I'm an ex-nun on the rock. He's the suffering king. Is that how she got off? Well, the, Teresa wanted people to live in impoverished conditions so she could identify with the poor whom she's serving. Whoa, let's play that back. Did he just say what I think he said? Oh, absolutely. Well, the, Teresa wanted people to live in impoverished conditions so she could identify with the poor whom she's serving. They had to suffer so Mother fucking Teresa could be enlightened? Oh, what a saint. She must, have, she must have been so enlightened she glowed in the dark. She wasn't, she wasn't in the least bit interested in alleviating poverty, I would say it was a certainty that millions of people uh, died because of her work, and millions more were made poorer, stupider, more sick, more diseased, more fearful, and more ignorant. God bless you, mother. Well, when it comes to her actual health care, the hygiene at her clinics was absolutely abysmal. The oftentimes untrained volunteers at Mother Teresa's homes just didn't know how to keep a medical facility running smoothly. One former volunteer at Nermal Herde, Mother Teresa's favorite home, claimed needles were washed in cold water and reused. I'm going to say that again. Needles were washed in cold water and reused. Also, according to Forbes, soiled and infected clothes were washed by hand and reused. All this despite $72 million in annual donations to her facility. Speaking of that $72 million a year, which she clearly didn't use to update any of her health clinics to provide better or even basic care to her patients, no one knows where the money went. A 1991 investigation by a German news magazine called Stern revealed that only 7% of the money at that time was actually used for charity. The money has been controlled by the Vatican since 1965, and there's no transparency about how it's used. In 2008, former Superior General of the Missionaries of Charity, Sister Nirmala, told the media Mother Teresa's charity received countless donations each year, but she wouldn't get into specifics about what it was used for. She said, and I quote, God knows he's our banker, which, as I'm sure you're aware, that's not how money works. Also an insane thing to say. If your uncle said, God's my banker, what would you say? The takeaway from all this is that, in truth, Mother Teresa obviously wasn't the saint you maybe thought she was. Of course, the Vatican never lets the truth get in the way of a good story. I'm Jordan, and those are the most disturbing facts about Mother Teresa that you maybe didn't know.